Now let's suppose that you want to move to the third block page. You are not going to edit this URL and specify here 3 to move to the third block post. Instead you click on the block title or on the image. So what you have to do is when you back to the home page, when the user click on this title or on this image, I want to navigate user to the block page. So let's see how to do it. I'm going to close all the files and now I'm going to open the section 1. Inside this section, right here you can notice we have this link component and we just pass here forward slash the root path of the website. Instead of specifying this root path, here now I can specify the block page ID. As you know, to access the block ID, you have to navigate to the pages. Inside that you have post and inside this post you have your blog post. To access this blog post, you need to get the blog post ID. When you scroll down inside this first section, you can see here you have the ID parameter. You can use this ID parameter to navigate through different blog posts. Instead of this forward slash, here now I can specify post. Now because we have this post inside these pages, we are just going to pass this folder name post and we need to specify the dynamic ID, which is the post ID value. We are going to get this value from this ID. So here instead of this double quote, I'm going to specify here backtick operator and then pass here my post and inside this and here I can say dollar in the object I'm going to pass the ID this one so when we iterate over an object I'm also going to pass the ID to the link component let me copy this and paste that to all my link components something like this save this file back to the first section let's suppose if I click on this post you can see it will navigate me to the block page I can do the same thing for any of these posts. You can see. Now let me do the same thing for all these blog posts. I'm going to open the components, open the second section, scroll up, then I can get it off this default value. And here I'm going to specify this post ID like this. Save this, open the third section, do the same thing here as well. So I'm going to paste this post ID something like this and I'm going to do the same thing for this last section save this file back to the project and now when you click on any of this post let's suppose that if I click on this second post when I click on the image I'm going to navigate to the second blog post you can see here now just for that let me add some finishing touch to this website right down here you can see we have this most popular section and here I have two blocks inside a swiper. What I want, I want to make this swiper completely responsive for all the devices. So I'm going to back to the third section. Here we have this swiper, you can see. Now to make this swiper completely responsive, you can specify here a property called breakpoint. You can say here breakpoints is equal to and in the object you pass different breakpoints. So I'm going to say here on 640 pixel. I'm going to have slides per view is going to be 2 and then I'm going to say space between is going to be 30 and now I'm going to get rid of this slides per view property because what I want after 640 pixel I want two slides inside this wiper and if the viewport is less than that I want only one slide so that is why I remove this property from here let me save the changes if I open the inspect tool when I decrease the viewport you can see when the viewport is less than 640 pixel inside this wiper we are only going to have one slide per view you can notice now the viewport is less than 640 pixel if I increase the viewport I'm gonna have two slides and if the viewport is less than that I'm gonna have only one slide so I can do the same thing for all the slides of this website 